Hey guys, Brady here. And I just saw horrible bosses too. Now, I honestly do not know how critics hated this movie. I laughed my ass off from start to finish. This movie was hysterical. I couldn't stop laughing. I thought this was just a tad bit better than the first. I don't know how critics didn't find this enjoyable. Uh, this, this is just hysterical. I saw it with a few of my friends. We were laughing hysterical throughout the whole movie. Uh, audience were laughing also. This movie was just great. Sure, they rehashed. Sure, some jokes were like rehashed a bit, but they were told differently, so it was funny. It wasn't told by the same character, which makes it even more funny. This movie was just funny. I mean, I think I laughed harder than I did during the first one, during this one scene. But, um, uh, anyway, so Horrible Bosses 2 is about, uh, they're back, and this time they're not trying to murder anyone, they're trying to kidnap, uh, this, um, uh, trying to kidnap this one guy, uh, Chris Pine's character, who basically screwed them over for their shower buddy business, and so now they want revenge, and they're gonna, they're gonna kidnap him, and so... And then they're going to, like, hold him for ransom for, like, I think, like, $5,000 or something like that. $5 million or something. And so, yeah, and now Christoph Waltz, which is Chris Pine's dad in this movie, is now on the, is now searching for him, for his son. And he has, like, police, detectives, everything on the lookout for him. And, uh, yeah. This is directed by Sean Anders. Sean Anderson or Sean Anders? I had a feeling he directed something else. I think it was, uh, I forgot the name of it, but his name sounds familiar. I could have sworn he directed something else. But this movie was just funny. Charlie Day and John Jason Sudeikis were the funniest parts of this movie. And even Chris Pine added to the comedy of this movie. Chris Pine was so funny. I don't think I've ever seen them this funny before in a movie. Um, uh, but I loved this movie this movie was just great it was funny it'll have you it'll have you laughing don't listen to the critics they, they also didn't like sex tape which i actually found funny but this was funnier than sex tape so i'm gonna go four stars out of five i know i gave this a higher rating than 22 jump street i thought this movie was just hysterical from start to finish uh you guys might not think it's as enjoyable as i say it is but I, I really did love this movie. So. Bye.